Listener discretion is advised. This podcast contains explicit material that may not be suitable for some individuals. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts in this podcast are for entertainment purposes only and do not reflect or represent the views and opinions of the actual people, companies, or any organization. This podcast may not be reproduced, edited, copied without the expressed written permission from the hosts. You have been warned. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of NBKIA Podcast Movie Review, Episode 11. Today, we are watching Rumble in the Bronx with Jackie Chan, 1995, rated R. I'm one of your hosts, Simon. I'm Ryan. I'm John. So, Rumble in the Bronx, a young man visiting and helping his uncle in New York City, finds himself forced to fight a street gang and the mob with his martial arts skills. He's got a 6.8 rating on internet internet movie database. Yeah. Just like last episode, this is a VHS exclusive. That's right. Ryan. You want to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Hit that subscribe button if you can. Like. Share it. Dislike. Whatever you want. Then like it again, please. Yeah. Like and dislike it. Trying to get some subscribers. That's a fucking copyright hit right there. Right? That high-pitched note right there. New Line Cinema. New Line Home Video. Yeah, we're probably going to have a couple of uh, previews before the actual yeah, movie VHS. starts. So that's kind of exciting. Look, we get the intro again of the New Line <laughs> Cinema. They're like, you saw it once. Maybe we can do Here's three. twice. Because now we got the actual movie production. That's the house that Billy, uh, Freddy built. <laughs> and Lord of the Rings paid the mortgage. I believe the saying is on that. Jackie Chan. So ja- yeah, Jack- Jackie was born uh, Kong, born Kong Sang Chan. So his name isn't actually Jackie, but because he has diffi- because he has difficulty. Uh, Remembering, like, if they get, you know, in a script, they give him a different name other than Jackie. A lot of the movies he's in, his name is of the character is Jackie. Yeah. yeah. So somebody's addressing him. Uh, but, uh, but apparently, you know, uh, Kong Sing Chan was his original name. Is he related to King Kong? <laughs> April 7th, April 7th, 1954, on Hong Kong's famous Victoria Peak. To Charles and Lily Chan, and the family immigrated to Canberra, Australia. Wow, wow so he's Australian. Wow, look at the <laughs> Statue of Liberty shot here. It's helicopter all day. Definitely do that with the drone now. Yeah, little do you guys know that in uh, Rumble of the Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx, number two. They actually control the Statue of Liberty, right? Oh, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. With a Nintendo controller. Yeah. To uh, defeat the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Yup. He's pushing a... Oh, I thought it was a stroller. Like a baby stroller. He just lets it go. (laughs) Goes in the street with a little baby in it. (laughs) He loves the the stick. I my, can barely hear it. Yeah, my English is okay for simple things. That's racist. Yeah, you don't have to <laughs> so, learn English, brah. Yeah, you can speak whatever you want. I won't be able to understand it, but yeah, do what you want. As long as you understand monster and butterfinger. And Darrell's punch hole in the wall. <laughs> Kyle. I have anger issues. 
this fucking old ass truck. What age period? <laughs> like, yeah, they is this got, a period piece. What they the got fuck? the Amish. They got the fucking Prince of Bel Air running down the streets. <laughs> <laughs> they got the truck from Beverly Hillbillies. Then they got I Love Lucy. What yep. the fuck? Got enough picture frames on the wall? Holy fuck. I've arranged them fucking like a schizophrenic on a wall. Right? I don't like how they're all different picture frames. I prefer if they were all the same yeah. picture frame. They just went somewhere <laughs> and like randomly bought framed pictures. That's what I'm playing. They're not even doing close-ups on him because they couldn't get any pictures of him. It's just like the the uh, default pictures that they put in the picture frames. Yeah, you just leave that in there. It's what I have in my house right now. Oh, it's perfect. It's like a live, laugh, love one or whatever. Oh, okay. It's got like three pictures of like families and stuff, and then a picture of my cousin like waving creepily. At, creepily. Wow. Yeah. I'm good at the creepy things for some reason. Sorry, Ryan. What were you going to say? <laughs> uh, what? So this is where we first see Jackie Chan tear some shit up, practicing. In a suit? Yeah. That was also worn by Arnold Schwarzenegger in Twins. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, we... I would love to see Jackie Chan in <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's suit from Twins. What a great idea. Look how fast this motherfucker is. Then you got fucking... You got young uh, Stephen Hawking right there. Yeah. <laughs> He's fucking. Or no, that's uh, fucking up my hardwood floors with your turning. <laughs> he just yells <laughs> at him. <laughs> wax on, wax off, bitch. Just on the ground. <laughs> so, got yeah, guys. Apparently, uh, when Jackie Chan was young, he was less than uh, successful scholastically. So, he did shitty in school. Hmm. So his father sent him back to Hong Kong to attend the rigorous China Drama Academy, one of the Peking opera schools. Chan excelled at acrobatics, singing, and martial arts, and eventually became a member of the Seven Little he Fortunes. He just fucking handed this kid... <laughs> Without a game in the yeah, back. Yeah, there's no game in it, and it's this, like, fucking shitty-ass game gear. It's, it's a Sega, yeah. Yeah, it's Sega game gear. <laughs> just gave this kid a Sega game gear with no, no fucking game in it. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, fit... You know, uh... Jackie Chan he, did this, he bro, did that. He, he did this, he did that, and, you know, he broke a lot of bones. How many, exactly? Every one of them. What about his... Like, no shit? Bone? I don't know. Google that. How many Go bones have, has Jackie Chan broken and how many times? On himself. How many... Uh, would you He's say, is that your guess? Time. Every single one? How do you break every single bone in your body? You have to be evil Knievel. Wrecking on a motorcycle and just flopping around, rolling like a fucking... What rolls a lot? This is a really, really long boy. list of movies. Uh, I mean, he's. it seems like he's... Stay still like an armadillo. He's done a movie every six months since 1977 or something. Really? Eager to satisfy the early 1970s boom in martial arts cinema, he starred in Shaolin Wooden Men, 1976, a.k.a. Shaolin Wooden Men. To Kill with Intrigue in 1977, a.k.a. To Kill with Intrigue, Half a Loaf of Kung Fu in 1978, and A uh, Magnificent Bodyguard. So he's meeting his aunt for the first time. That's not his aunt. Yeah, it is. Well, I don't think they're married yet. Yeah. Yo, lip dubs, dude. Mm hmm. Mr. Chu. <laughs> this guy's awesome. This Mr. dude's Chew. perfect. I think he's in something else, too. I want to say he uh, is in Drunken Master or something. Mr. Chu, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Swallow. Huh? <laughs> ah. It's like these empty boxes. No, and Jackie Chan is probably filled with, like, fucking bricks or something. He He's telling this dude they have a lot of customers, but all I see is, like, five people working. 
eating up payroll and not one paying customer. Oh, there's one. Oh, there is one with it's the a basket. One it's a white hipster dude. Yep, totally. I'm getting <laughs> Oriental. An actual time traveler. Oh wait, another one. Trucker hat. Jean probably jacket. Says dude. Bud, Li- Bud Light on the front. Yeah, he's probably trying to steal a loaf oh, of wow. bread. Let's get down to business. Four gallons of fruit punch. Yep. Damn. Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, she's flirting with him. This mullet on this fucking chick, am I right? He's flexing. Oh, oh! He shit. doesn't know it. He doesn't know mirror. it's a two-way mirror. A two-way a mirror. One-way mirror. One-way mirror. Two-way. Mirror. Two way. It's two-way. How it's many one, ways how does many this ways mirror go? It's a fucking mirror. It's like oh, a, it's like a carnival funhouse. Yo, that's like the the videos where people uh like put on lipstick or fix their hair in the car car window. <laughs> yeah, and they have the roll seat. windows down. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So they're gonna pay her more? Killing that fucking mullet. I still don't know when the fuck this is supposed to be. Yeah, what is yeah. this? It'll fucking. They could only rent, like, cars that were older. Oh, wait, I think that's his uncle's car. Tank top? They fucking tightened his belt. Look how tight they did it. Tucking in they the tank top. They cut, like, three new holes. Look how they were like, the first hole ain't working. A little tighter. <laughs> We need a second hole, third hole. He just realizes he popped his zit and was flexing in front of this fucking chick. Mullet. She stole it like Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton rocked the mullet for a little bit. It looked nice. He's trying to sell this fucking place because he knows. In Australia, they have a national mullet day. Oh. Jackie Chan's from Australia. Why does he have an Australian accent? Mm. One of the best rappers of all time. Because he, tra- he traveled back and forth from Australia to, to China. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Even I don't think that. <laughs> Even I can't go along with that joke. I when the with... joke's too far. Yeah. When saying Iggy Azalea is the greatest rapper. Gone too far. She's revolutionized rap for the white community. <laughs> wow. What a community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My baby. I threw it out in the street the other day. Yeah. That's a, a pretty good day to night transition to give us a little time quickly. Then you got fucking people. Biker from, gang, uh, dude. dude. Yeah. This is. Or no, this, this isn't Dune, it's uh. There. What is it, uh. Look at this fucking. Who sleeps in this fucking. Romper? But it's like Long John's? It's a leotard? <laughs> it looks softer than fucking latex, though. <laughs> or, uh, not latex, um. <laughs> Spandex. So this is filmed in Canada. Okay, right? makes sense. Which is pretty cool, <laughs> I think. D'Angelo. If that was your name, what else would you have to do but ride around in this fucking dune buggy and do dirt bike races? What are they doing it for? A bag of crack? No, that's money. What the fuck is that? Oh, really? Damn, you gotta pop a wheelie? Where are you fucking on? So, it, it seems like there's this... Okay, here we go. Damn! Up a Corvette? Oh, yeah, okay. And the car, right? They're about to ruin the fucking car. Trains You can't go wrong with dirt bikes driving over cars. 
So this is the whole thing. I think it's not so much core, but leg and like fucking um, the sides of the sole of your shoe. That you can fucking go down ladders fast, right? If you like press and decompress. Like that shit. <laughs> He's a fucking athlete. There's no... Jesus, man. Yeah, right. He would have been toast, right? How... What's the speed that you can keep on fucking cars? 30 miles per hour? Do you think you could handle 30 miles per hour on a dirt bike, Simon? Huh? Jumping cars? What about it? 30 miles per hour. No. Well, so, no... What? You think they're going like 20, 15, and like like just like... I'd say no more than 10, and they probably sped it up. No, I'm saying in real life, though, if you were going to try it and do an actual race. I don't think you could go that fast. I don't... There's no way you would handle like 50 miles per hour, right? No, That's like far too fast. So there's something underneath that. Look at the windshields of the cars, though, now. None of them are broken, though. Ooh, maybe they did that. And then they just had fucking continuity errors. Errors, yeah. But yeah, they, uh, unless it, especially in that where it's not an even, uh, height, like each car has its own height, whereas, like, in motocross, when they're going over, uh, the ridges or whatever, they are more even. So What do you know about motocross? Faster. You ain't never seen motocross, Kyle? <laughs> I know. There's I know. A piece of fucking uh, drywall at. <laughs> I almost, I almost wreck. I actually, I did wreck on a dirt bike. Doing what? When I was like thirteen, uh, just not knowing how to drive it, <laughs> and slamming on the. You don't want to slam on the front brakes. You go over to the, the, oh, you go over right, the handlebars. Okay. Yeah, dirt bikes are fucking crazy. My buddy had a dirt bike. We used to. Uh, he had a C- Honda CR80. Okay. He had all the fucking the helmet and the gear. We used to watch Jeremy McGrath on, you know, motocross. And he, one time, we had like five or six of us lay down on the ground. And uh, my my buddy Rob jumped, you know, like we, we laid down by the ramp. He jumped us, right? So we did all kinds of crazy, stupid shit. What, but, what, what do you mean jump and it worked? He just yeah, he jumped, it? he jumped over it. Well, because we, he had already like made the jump, right? Okay. Without anybody under it. Oh, okay. Right? So Whoa. we're like, let's lay down and, you know. Dude, handstand push ups. Camel toe out the hoo ha. Veiny forearm only on the right. Or both, I guess. How many takes? What do you say? You think he just like nails that? 100%. Matching shirts? This is fucking awesome. They have the same jeans, too. (laughs) They're not even denim. They're like this thin material with an elastic waistband. And she's got to have two chains. The apartment is yours. How awesome. Look at this red fucking Commissioner Gordon phone in the living room. Uncle, I'm coming. How long does it take for Jackie Chan? He can answer the door by walking on his hands, but it takes him five minutes to put jeans on. Right? What the fuck? Do you think you could get a hot chick to date you if you drove around in a dune buggy? How could you not? (laughs) (laughs) Well, first of all, you could look like a tool. Especially where it snows. You put one of those, uh, like, Jeep tarps. What the fuck you call them? T-tops. My Aunt Faye had a Firebird with T-tops. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Then I realized how ridiculous T-tops are. My dad had a T-top. You like them or hate them? I like them. Yeah? My dad had one. I like them because of the nostalgia. Yeah. But I do kind of see, like, how it is silly. Ew, Gross. So, fucking customer throws gum on the five-way mirror. I think it's a one-way. A one-way mirror. You can see out, but they can't see in. A two-way mirror is called a fucking window. Because you can see. (laughs) 
<laughs> you killing me, dude. This fucking bullet. You. No grocery store just stacks individual cans in a pyramid. They just went for fucking props in a dumpster. Why? Why is it whenever you want to make a character look like he's bad, the, Punk put him rock. in a leather jacket? Punk rock. He's got sunglasses on his head. He's yeah. he's a bad dude. What's going on here? He's stealing shit. I have the studs in my leather jacket. Oh, oh course, shit! Yeah. Jesus, what? How much? Oh, yeah. yeah. Grab his fucking Adam's apple. And bending his fucking wrist back. That shit hurts your fucking hand back like that. Some fucking like hot keto. Oof. One cut or stab from that knife and you'd be toast. Like definitely like hitting some organs, right? <laughs> that knife? How long yeah. is it? Fucking... I think it's yes. got like a 12 inch blade on it. Fuck yeah. No shots. Ooh, another knife. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, man, yeah. The the, the great part of empty cans, too. Yeah. Look at that shit. Oh, that kick to the stomach. See, that's what Dude. that's what they don't have in movies nowadays. Like that. You fucking, don't think so? No, I I haven't seen anything like that where they have like that good uh, pullback. Oh with the kicks yeah. And shit. And that totally that abrupt. Like it. It's always either over wait way over emphasized or it doesn't happen at all. So you like it to look a little more realistic? Yeah. Like, because him flying into that shit went into that stomach cake was... It really was. Yeah. I mean, that's a scene I could fucking watch over and over again. That's yeah. insane. Well, yeah. And you'd have to wait long for the outcome of the kick, too. Like, to see the yeah. actual power where all the shells fucking fell over and whatnot. Yeah. Sorry, Ryan. What were you going to say? <laughs> Dude. Fuck. So that's the actual first action sequence, right? Where we get to see Jackie Chan show off. Yeah, he saves the day. The fucking token, overexcited, like, comedy relief. Chris Tucker. Yeah, totally. Rush like, hour. Wannabe. Zero. <laughs> do you guys think that they... Do you... When Jackie Chan met Chris Tucker to work on Rush Hour, he was like, I worked with you before in Rumble in the Bronx, remember? Yeah. You were in the grocery store. <laughs> well, no, what happened was... Nicholas Cage and Jackie Chan fucking down the street. <laughs> yeah. And Johnny Depp's falling from the sky right. skydiving and right. he's landing off target. Yeah. And he's like, you know Coppola? <laughs> you know. <laughs> this story was brought to you by Ryan. <laughs> Several <laughs> other times. Really Do you think the comparison between Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee is fair? No, not at all. Two different um, presentations of martial arts. Jackie Chan's real and Bruce Lee was fake, made up by the government. Bru- Bruce Lee. From what was Bru- Bruce Lee. Literally a robot. Bruce Lee Incredible. created his own form of martial arts called Jeet Kune Do. Yeah. The, um, and he was very philosophical. Yeah. And Jackie Chan talks about this in an interview where he said that you know if bruce lee punches and is like then he's gonna punch somebody and it hurts his hand and he's gonna you know pull it back and like shake it because it was absolutely the you know total antithesis of what bruce lee was doing and so now you have somebody who's developed being a great actor and martial artist, but has done their own unique signature way of doing it, which I think that's what makes martial artists stand out when doing movies. Is you got to have like your own signature. So I think it's interesting that uh, Jackie Chan is seems to be quite the philanthropist. He's uh, donated all kinds of money. UNICEF. What, he pulled out his wallet as a gun? 
No, it's a badge. And then he acts oh, like he's pulling him. back. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I thought he was like shaking that fucking thing like it was a gun. Oh, nut shot. Okay. I remember seeing this as a kid and becoming a Jackie Chan fan. This is absolutely unbelievable. His movement is incredible. And for doing his own stunts, it's just... Think of how on you have to be. Right? Especially with... Act, well, it was probably like not five feet bats, in the air. Look at this fucking... Like, oh yeah. my god. That's good. Yes, That's good pound. leg sweep. Fucking roll over, kick it back. The fucking... Oh, yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. unbelievable. It's really... Even the stuntman, too. Yeah, like look at this shit. fucking shit, dude. God damn, dune buggy yeah. guy. Sorry, Ram, what were you going to really say? Really creative, really creative use of he just props. fucking fit, yeah. And Sorry, that's Ryan, another what were you thing say? that made fucking Jackie Chan unique is that he used his environment in a way. <laughs> Jackie Chan. He's crazy. She want to kick it, Jackie Chan. Because Jackie Chan be kicking and climbing. When... When a rapper can use the term "I Jackie Chan the wall," mm -hmm. like you already know that he just ran up it and fucking just cleared that fucking thing. Spoilers. Kick that fucking door! Oh shit! Who the fuck right. is this dude in the front? He's so, the leader. Look at this no. guy, D'Angelo. Are we actually, guy, are we worried that like, are we supposed to be worried that like 40 people are going to beat him up? Is that what your count He's is? He's beating up every one of these 18. people. How many guys do you think There's like there? 40. 40 people? Easy. I was always bad at guessing how many gumballs were in the jar of gumballs as a kid. It was always off. I was like, there's 10. <laughs> they're like, There's two hundred and eighty five. I need glasses. Go, we're look gonna at these dump some garbage yeah, everywhere. There's like rats falling out. So they just randomly have cloth and yeah, all these like I mean, unique like fucking hippie fucking ponchos to wrap around baseball bats. Okay, so wall ball. Wow. You ever play wall ball? Man, this is if, a really this is a really aggressive ball and it game. hit the wall and it bounced back, right? And you had to catch it. If you didn't if it touched you and you didn't catch it, you had to run touch the wall before somebody could grab the ball and throw it and hit the wall. And if they wall did ball. that, you had to stay up on the wall and everybody mm -hmm. playing had a turn of throwing the ball at you. So in a sense, he's playing So do you think they're throwing real bottles at Jackie bottle. Chan right now? Is that real glass or is that fake? Fake uh, bottles. What do you it's call it? Candy. candy glass? Yeah. yeah. Man, I would say probably like three different takes. Like he's you have the overwhelmed. Takes of like up close to him, right? While he's on the wall. And then you have the take of them like hitting the bottles. And then you take another one to have. How do they have down. so many bottles? They just. They just poured out all those trash cans. And apparently there's plenty of. Whoa! Wow. What a jerk. Yeah, wow. leather jacket guy. Cool guy alert. You <laughs> asshole. You're out of line. This is fantastic. We were only trying to hit bottles at a fucking poor Chinese guy. Yeah. Fuck him up. Trying to make it in America. Who wears goggles on their head like that? I'm steampunk. Can I just take a second to say that I do not care much for steampunk? You don't like... What aspects of it? Eh, I, li I like zero aspects of it. Really? I like nothing about steampunk. Are you here? I feel goggles? like... Goggles? It's like, well, let's just put goggles. Well, Wait, yeah. isn't that the chick that he saved? Huh? Isn't that the chick that Jackie Chan saved? Dun, dun, dun! Simon's just realized. <laughs> he, he wait, the, is he playing the Sega Game Gear? Yeah, yeah with no game. game in it. 
And that, what? why does that drive me crazy? Like, because you could have spray painted a fucking piece of cardboard and put it in there. Yeah. Just to make it look better. Than that. Yeah. An empty ass fucking cartridge? I don't believe An you're empty playing ass anything. ass fucking cartridge. Bullshit. His legs are probably not the only thing working properly put your if fucking he's sitting there playing with that. Poster straight up. Yeah, I want to see them vertical. Line. Fucking four thumbtacks holding each corner. Because sometimes you'd hang posters and just use two thumbtacks up top in the corners. But then the fucking bottom would start to curl. The bottom flaps around. And it fu- yeah, it's like, what the fuck's happening here? And then if the windows are open and the wind's blowing hard, you might get a ripped you poster. Should. And forget about using a, the fan. Sorry, Ryan, what room. were you saying? I was saying that Jackie Chan is not his real name. And he's broken every bone in his body. How many times? Just to make a movie. You know? How many people can say that? He's also directed movies. And has been unfairly compared to Bruce Lee. I don't know if it's unfair. John, I think I agree with you on how much it upsets me that that kid doesn't have a game in the thing. (laughs) That should definitely... I mean, that's a huge... Fuck! Remember me? Why are you covered in blood? Because he's been hit with bottles. Right. You just made it home. He's trying to get to his uncle's house. He'll be okay. He's like, I had to Uber here. We they don't... fucking lowered my score because I, I do... got blood in the back. Before they even had Uber, he's had the first person to use it. Do you hear about that shit? They're, you have a, a personal score now, and if the, the driver ranks you... And you can get kicked off Uber, the app, not use it. Twin Towers. Yep, 95. He's like, who's doing the pain? He just walks over there on his hands and kicks him. Bends like a scorpion. What? He just has a can of soup? Or is that a candle? It's a can of soup. It's pork and beans. SpaghettiOs! I got beat up. Uh, yeah, I know. That's a Where's shitty little blanket. Yeah. God. You couldn't have a... given him a better blanket? Well, I, I, yeah, I don't believe that a woman would not have another blanket that was better. You got plenty yeah. of blankets. I just don't believe it. Wouldn't you love to just wake up to a sandwich? Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I mean, it would suck to pass out yeah. all bloody and stuff, but waking up to a sandwich... Butt ass naked with a little tiny blanket covering you with a handicapped some... kid giving you the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drink up. Yeah. Let right? me it's like there's literally nothing better. <laughs> nothing better. In it's this scene can... that I would, I just want this. A yeah. can of shitty ass cold soup. Yeah. With the yep. with it really is. Running. Man, I was confused. I was like, is it a candle or kind of fucking thing? Hey, Man. Jack Skellington, though. That's kind of odd. Damn, look at this gypsy woman dancing. Hello. He's just driving a dirt bike down the sidewalk. He's like fucking Nelly with his band-aids. Okay, so now we have the fucking yeah, biker mean. gang. Do you call them a biker gang when they're on dirt bikes? Oh, yeah. Dirt Great gang. chase dirt, scene. Dirt biker gang? The dirt gang? The motocross. They have cross. numbers on them, too, like they're actual racers. Balloon jump. Oh, oh fuck. That's a lot of popcorn, popcorn. going oh, to they waste. They that thing <laughs> stuffed. No Shit. One- Oh, yeah. Dude, think how these people had to have been on their fucking mark, too. Oh, absolutely. Like up, especially absolutely. that part right there. You could fucking yeah. crush You it. need fucking trained stunt person. Yeah, they're, it's insane. People. people. Yeah. Like that shit, too. Jackie Chan and Wall. Oh, Jesus shit. Christ. Wow. Damn, on concrete in the fucking... How many times I'm did you I'm scared roll? to do a four front roll on carpet. I feel like I'll land too hard on my shoulders. He just rolled like seven times. His arm's probably actually like so fucking like, broken dude, and he's just like, yeah, fuck it, let's go. Good thing they have baseball bats. Oh my god. Oh, this shit. Oh, look how tight that is. He's like, but you have to stop there because that thing would have fucking been to that latch. Would have fucking took off his skin. Yeah, that looked like it was in a 
the incredibly dangerous stunt to yeah. really pull off in real life. They're really pushing it in this right, one. Yeah. And I remember it just always blowing my mind. It still does watching it right now. Oh. Later. What does this guy look like a... Ooh. What is it, Willie Nelson? Close lined yeah. with a fucking... Oh, these baseball bat swings and you gotta dodge them. Look at this shit. Yeah, I don't think there's. She's speed unbelievable. It. Like, and if there's more than two takes, you know, and you got to do that over and over, I'm going up. I'm all Holy the way shit. up. So, it, it, what is there like a, a big fuck. mattress? You think that sped up? If you he think falls, that was how it? fast he was doing it? I don't know. I it's didn't hard even to want tell. to think. From that angle, it looked like he's actually like four stories in the air. Yeah, And there's definitely. nothing underneath him to catch him. No. There's no... Well, there might be. I don't know. We can't like see they have there, this. But... Yeah, they have this giant thing that's full of air. It's like a... That dude looks like Ben Stiller from Globo Gym. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This fucking guy and his confederate <laughs> flag ass <laughs> driving a fucking... Ball truck with the hippie uh, with the fucking tie dye shirt. Tie-dye shirt. Sure. This guy is a fucking unique individual. Look at this zebra outfit this villain has on. Why do I feel like these guys listen to shitty fucking music and smoke swag? The zebra or the zebra striped gum? Yeah. Oh wow. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. So he had to run off the fucking front of that truck in time. Yeah, they, they had to have, like, had some kind of safety harness on them for that. Something. So, somebody had a really creative idea by putting all those uh, bounce, you know, those, yeah. like, beach balls in the big truck. Falls off the fucking uh, parking garage. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like in the, the scene in uh, Bedtime Story with the gumballs, like, raining down from the sky, but it's like an overpass. Yeah. Yeah, that was really pretty cool looking. <laughs> you kiss my ass. <laughs> Leather jacket guy. So if you could imagine what this would fucking feel like, if you've ever had like a real small twig or like branch and whacked oh yourself, my God. I bet that would hurt so bad. <laughs> Just whipped his ass. He'd fucking, fuck you. What this jump. We? Man. All the way. They got to show it a few times. Oh, oh yeah. They, I mean, they have multiple cameras on him, right? Yeah. Because you can probably only perform that stuff. Yeah, you're you not know, doing months. that. You're not like, doing that. You got to nail it. All right, take 10, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're going to jump, jump the alley. Jump across the time. alley onto the fire escape. No net. <laughs> He's just a Futurama head in a jar. They just throw it. These fucking guys. Men in black. Yup. Then he got the pit mobile over there. Straight up. <laughs> Where you got Suge Knight. Yeah. With you got fucking Suge Some Knight. stereotypes With Tyrese. Right. <laughs> <Yeah. Wow. laughs> no, that dude looks straight up like Suge Knight. With some diamonds, that's right, yeah. The classic, they just don't make them like this anymore. You know? An action movie can't be as cliche as this. Yeah. White dude selling to, or buying diamonds from an African dude with that, like the, hey man, what's up? Or like the actual like African accent. Zimbabwe, well, I guess, wherever they're from. I guess, uh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to think of like where diamonds are like commonly mined. Right, yeah. The, the oh, blood okay. diamonds in, in yeah. South Africa. But. I'm just thinking like the, you know, there's a, a deal gone wrong. But then I'm thinking of No Country for Old Men. And that movie basically is like a fucking drug and deal went wrong. The character yeah, yeah, yeah. just stumbles across it, takes the money, and then the fucking story unfolds from there. Jesus Christ. Big fucking stunts in this. What do you think the budget was? Do we know? 
Shit. What's uh, your guess? I'm probably it up right now. Probably cost more than that kid's wheelchair. Um, I would say with Jackie. Thirteen Chan, million. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say fourteen million. Uh, you fucker. I'm gonna Price say, is right, motherfucker. See, all in all, I would say it would cost probably about eighty-four million. Eighty-four million. Yeah. Wow, I well, think that's an actual good guess, though. I'm, um, I don't know. I'm going on the high side because they had to close off all these city streets and to get those permits. It can't okay. be cheap even back then. Yeah. And like just how much it destroyed cars and stuff. Well, no, it's probably more than eight, eighty-four million, honestly, because what uh, Night of the Living Dead was like a hundred and fourteen million. Was it really? That still blows my fucking mind. It was something crazy, right? Yeah, like it. It was this fucking explosion. Yeah, so this was probably close to like two hundred million or something. What the fuck is this? Get me out of this fucking ad. It, what? This was ninety-five. Eh, I'd say 200 million. No. 84 million. Who are these guys? Why are they. 84 million. What's your guess, Ryan? I'm going to go with, uh,. I don't know, a hundred and twenty million. It cost at least a million dollars for that guy's leather jacket, <laughs> and that wheelchair cost at least fifty thousand dollars, and that gun cost about sixty bajillion billion. <laughs> Is that gun all silver? I've been like trying to pay attention to more guns in movies to see what they fucking look like. Look at this fucking thing. That's like from the toy section, right? That little Tech Nine yeah, thing or spray, whatever. Yeah, they just spray painted it. Yeah, it looks small. You just go to the projects and you film. Like, how much does it cost to rent out a fucking building in the projects of filming? Most of the money spent on just moving the people out so you can film. <laughs> or stay inside your apartment on these days. Jake Chan will be here. I guess her apartment could be a studio, but I don't know. It doesn't really seem like one. Yay! John, come and look at this! John! Not now, man. Fucking. My sister bought a new cushion for me. Nancy? Nancy, are you home? Oh, shit. How much? So, first of all, I win. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because what was my 13th? Yeah. And yours was what? 84. 84. And what was yours, Ryan? It was like 42. I, I said 120 million. Okay, so the budget was... Seven million five hundred thousand. Okay. Really? Yeah. And it grossed uh, thirty-two million three hundred ninety-two thousand twenty-seven. Wow. But opening weekend, it only got seventy-four thousand nine hundred seven. Hmm. Say, I was way. So you know that's why so horror yeah. movies and action movies you can do on a budget. It seems, right? But uh, then again, with Night of the Living Dead, weren't we blown away with how much the actual yeah. budget was? And even back in, like, 60, the 60s. Yeah. Do you have to account for inflation? I don't know. Yeah, I guess... Well, no, because that'd probably be just as much. Oh, yeah, it was like a hundred and... Something thousand because we thought it was going to be like a couple thousand back in the 60s and it turned out to be something a little yeah, bit more. 
The but Night of the Living Dead cost five thousand dollars. It turned out to be like hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm like wow. Hundred and thirty thousand. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess is you know millions of dollars. That's what you need. Good lord. What gun? I don't know. Gun? I didn't see a gun. You threw it in the vehicle and blew it up. The the classic fucking cop smoking a big stogie. I like the triangle they have going on, though. Guy talking to that guy with the guy coming through the door. Yeah. And even that, they have some kind of uh, uh, story being told in the background where the guys get right. off. Without even, like... In the two-way mayor. Yeah. That they're in front of. Well, yeah, and the... Uh, <laughs> the one-way... It's called a fucking window. Yeah. <laughs> but no. <laughs> they showed the guys getting their release papers without going through the whole story of them cutting to the cutting to the interrogation room we're like, okay, we got nothing on you. You guys are set free. Like they just showed you uh them handing them the papers and then them getting in the car and you're like, okay, so they got released. Right. Which is good yeah. storytelling of not kind of pulling away and kind of going down that whole thing about over explaining shit. Where are you from? Yeah, was this stop and frisk? Get the fuck out of my way. Are you con- are you detaining me? Are you detaining me? I know my rights. No, you bring an interesting uh, perspective that I've that I've taken for granted and not been able to pinpoint. What's that, Simon? With like that actual double storytelling that they were doing within one scene that you were talking about. Um. The whole idea that you understand what's happening in the room you're in because you're following their dialogue, Mm -hmm. but at the same time, they're talking about them being released and you still see them in there as if they're interrogating them, been doing it for a while, but then they're set free and you get this like kind of, you're filled in. And I feel like a lot of movies now, they don't fill you in so much with all the characters or what's going on. (laughs) And so you're disconnected from everybody and so you don't care. Just at the end of the day, and, and it's hard to make characters <laughs> that you care about. This club they're in is absolutely off the chain. Oh, absolutely! Like, wh- how, how many places you go? There's a there's like a go go dancer in a birdcage, a, a, a tiger, and some '80s hair metal band playing at the same time. What a weird combination of things. How it's, scared shitless would you be if you were inside that cave with the fucking tiger jumping around it? There's like stained glass windows in the background. There's like a fucking woman that's be worked church. there for like three years and she just has tiger scratches on her ass from twerking <laughs> up in the cage. Right. Yeah! Bartholomew's got me a couple times. What is this crazy place? It's the Bronx. It's fucking... Definitely not the Bronx. It's probably in Manhattan, I would assume. I don't know. I've never been east. I've never been. Well, I mean, yeah. I've never been to New York East. Been to Baltimore. Been to North Carolina. Never been far west, either. <laughs> Jackie! That's she has the same name as you! So I don't Aren't know if it's purposely done, but for the first time I'm realizing the <clears throat> the color idea mm. of like literally everything is red with her. Even her drink is red for fuck's sake. And he's wearing black and white and she's both like this villainous woman but yet, you know, seductive. And he's supposed to be like, well, so one of the guys from her gang just realized they're on a date. Chinese Aren't Michael you Jackson afraid of the there. tiger? 
With his one glove on, one glove off. Yeah, is it at the first question? If you showed up to the club of the girl that you're going to go on a date with, and she's dancing in a cage where a tiger's loose, yeah. are you afraid of the tiger? <laughs> oh, she's badass. She's kicking all the bad guys' motorcycles yeah, over. Yeah, he likes that. Yeah, I wish they would have had your a shoes. Shot of, like all the motorcycles getting dumped over. Instead of just having them laying on their sides, but I can understand because that'd be a lot of destruction. <laughs> this dude straight up got a cowboy duster jacket Damn. on. Look at this yeah. fucking shot. I know I'm right. I'm like 50 years old. I've seen a lot of shit. You haven't seen nothing. That's why you're dumb enough to get in a cage with the fucking loose tiger. <laughs> to make 75 bucks a fucking night. They rode their dirt bikes inside the fucking shop. Yeah. Are you serious? Look at this metal militia. Stupid <laughs> you stupid bitch. This is like the How many times do they say How stupid How many times bitch? are they going to call hey. a woman a stupid bitch? Yeah, you see that weak ass push he did on her too? He's like, you stupid yeah. bitch. Well, like, she's probably like, don't, I'm fragile. He's like, I'm trying not to. I don't really like playing a bad guy. So what... So these fucking men in black. Here come the men in black. They're holding you hostage. I'd be nervous just as a stunt person. Well, with if I was like a noob, just mm. flying on a dirt bike out that door space, right? Like fly, just drive it in and out. And fucking, how fast do you think they were going? I don't know, 100 miles an hour. Well, it did, I don't know. It's hard to tell if it's sped up or not, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, especially because some of the... Uh, it doesn't look... Yeah. Yeah, some, know, of the, yeah. some of the mouth and the mm -hmm. words don't match up, too, so you kind of get the feeling that mm. they speed up some stuff and slow other stuff down, or uh, whoever cut the audio and the video together, if they... Well, I'm assuming they did it separate. Damn. Look at how this fucking... He, like, rolled up on, with a sweater over his fucking shoulders. So he p stashed the diamonds in his old cushion, and he got a new one. Yeah. He's looking for those diamonds. You don't remember that the cushion looked different. so much different? And it didn't have a back on it? It was just a cushion, not the entire cushion, the back. Yeah. Also, shit. This fucking guy is a genius. A wood chipper. Fuck. So I came across some pretty interesting trivia uh, about Jackie Chan. Apparently he was his star in a film entitled Nosebleed. So they were going to have him star in a movie called Nosebleed. Yeah. Apparently this never came to pass. But uh, the project was canceled after the World Trade Center attack on September 11th, 2001. He was able to play a window washer at the... the World Trade Center, who was uh, to stop a terrorist plot. Really? So this movie never happened, but it would have been called Nosebleed. I, I think that would have, that would have been awesome, right? Wow. Yeah, I bet there's conspiracies no. built all around that. That would the have been something. The grocery store that she has just purchased from his uncle has now been thrashed. Mm -hmm. And Jackie Chan finds her drinking a Coors that's probably warm. From the grocery store. A warm Coors Light. Yeah. I think it might have been original. <laughs> Different branding back then. You ever look at a Doritos bag from like 95 and just see one now and go, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, they used to have Cooler Ranch. Oh, really? Yeah, it was Cool Ranch. Cooler. Cooler Ranch. Coolest Ranch. Shit. Wouldn't that be the Cooler next one? the Coolest Ranch. Right. And then Cold Ranch. Yeah, colder then, ranch then and then you would coldest just ranch. Break it down to just right. to where you don't even say cool anything anymore, right. and it'd just be like cool ranch, it's like C O O. Or or everything would just be su sub zero, sub zero winds, negative degrees, fight Fahrenheit. These are the coldest ships I've ever had. You're just eating it ice. It makes me feel like I it's, brush my teeth. You're just eating ice and That's mint. why I don't like mint. Because mint, like chocolate, anything, like what the fuck? Mint reminds me like, of either fresh breath or brush my teeth. Yeah. So if I want like anything else yeah, it than doesn't, mint, like 
snacks, if ice cream, mint, yeah. It, if it's mint flavored, you feel like you should spit it out. Mm-hmm. You're like, they don't want to yeah. swallow that. Yeah, no. Too minty. It's like gum. And it's like gum. Wintergreen, peppermint gum. You don't swallow it. No. Toothpaste. Why would you put toothpaste on ice cream? Doesn't make sense. fucking gross. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. Another bottle. Fuck, you just kicked that dude out the hammock. Oh, okay. First of all, what we're about to witness here is unbelievable. You got the guts? Drop the gun. Motherfucker! (laughs) He is about to break this dude's back. If this fucking actor did not, or stunt person, did not break their back, then I don't know how they fucking stretch their body and get conditioned to take this fucking hit. A pool table is a really small area to fight in. So you know how they make the impact look in martial art movies like this? Like give it impact when they hit? Baby powder. Oh, no way. So, yeah, you see that whiteness on okay. it? Yeah. He just put baby powder on his boot. So, when it yeah, touched him, a mark, it yeah. did a poof. No it way. It did some action, yeah. So, whenever you see that cloud of shit, yeah. that's baby powder. That's a, the best kept secret of movie making. Put it on making. two by fours and shit. So, when it hits, wow. it does all that. Yeah, I did, I, I've never heard of that before. Right? How the fuck does that person land on that and not fucking hurt their back? You just land straight landed on a pinball machine, bro. Like in the middle of your back. Oh, cushion fall. <laughs> oh yeah, there's all that dust flying. There's a the baby powder. Oh my god, it's awesome how well this holds up, dude. It's it's just it's really just the whole oh god. I mean, just, like, it's the, yeah. the choreographed fighting. You can tell there's you know, love and knowledge there. You I'm, know, yeah. like that's why it's just so well done. I never. I it doesn't nev- look hokey. Yeah, I never get tired of how creative they get with Damn. with props. Oh. I mean, they're using. You yeah. Know, like, how do you work like a bunch of refrigerators Just and TVs? Just TV, fucking shut. Them. Oh, the pop. It's insane. Shut them back in there. Shopping cart. Watch yeah. this fucking. This is how fucking agile <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker is. Through the shopping cart. Up the fucking. It's just. Oh Crazy. man, the pinballs. Whole fucking bottle, fucking wrestling. Right. Yeah, it has a really good rhythm to it. Yeah. Boing. I could go without that. I think it would have been better if corny it just broke sound over effect. His head. Yeah. yeah, but that's Jackie Chan. He wanted to be different. You know, that's why I don't oh, think you man. can really compare him to Bruce Lee. They're tearing up these Dude, pinball down machines. Under it. Look how quick he had to do that. How many pinball machines do you got to trash for this thing? That's most of the budget. Look at that baby powder. Oh, the ski. Oh, skeet, skeet. Yeah, he's about to skeet, skeet all (laughs) over these other fucking... Could you imagine getting fucking hit with that? Just even if it was by accident. Because, you know, on the arm, he's just like fucking nailing it. Shuts the thing, stabs that guy in the stomach. Take that, motherfucker. Jesus Christ. That had been so fucking close, too. Yeah. Go? go? Uh, you know, you win, just go. You can spend the rest of your life beating up people and rabbit them. Why know yourself? Don't you know you're the scum of society? <laughs> Don't you know you're the scum of society? <laughs> okay. That's his brave heart speech. We have a hammock inside of our hangout. He kicked a fucking it's dude cool. right out of that. What he say? Hmm. What did he say? So have you seen this? He a few made fun times? of my fucking zy- Yeah. How many times have you seen this? Oh, at least five. This is probably six. So is this like the end of it? No, fuck no. We gotta fight these fucking THO Man in Black Crucifix on titties. They let Devil Guy fucking 
I'm your fire starter. Twisted fire starter. He survived. He got to bring the fucking hefty bag of fucking his buddy. Did someone just throw up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Why are people throwing up? A friend of mine got murdered. Who's a bad guy? So yeah. Does it really fucking, fucking matter? Murdered kids with heroin. Right. Where's Angelo now? In He's Red running. Valiant Comics. <laughs> Where's Angelo? <laughs> Where's, Where's Angelo? He must have Let's taken acting lessons from Nicolas Cage. First you know, of all, fun fact: Nicolas Cage and Johnny, Johnny Depp, Depp were skydiving down the street, <laughs> and they both were holding hands, and, doing a fucking slip and slide. And that's how Twenty One Jump Street started. Yup. And Francis Coppola. Sorry, Ryan, so, what here's were you the saying? Men in Black. Sorry, Ryan. What were you saying? What were you saying? Simon? Mm. You know, that how tall is this dude? Is this a forced perspective trick? Or is that guy literally like 7'1"? Holy shit. He's tall as fuck. This dude is a monster. What is this, Andre the Giant? Oh! Is just he shoots him in shoot the fucking in the leg? Knee. You ever had a bullet go straight through In front of all these cap? people? Where are the diamonds? Where are the diamonds at? No, I've never had so, a bullet go through me. I can't compare that to anything. All I know is that I've heard the elbow, like your funny bone, right? Oh. And your kneecaps. Like, those are yeah, like some that's of the gotta be That's got to be just... The joints! 420! The joints! It's 420! Celebration of death! You got death. fucking handicapped kid. Hey, guys, yeah. what's up? I got my fucking new walking sticks! <laughs> fucking knocked down. Who put cherry no, bombs on the wall? Ch -ch -ch cherry bombs! Oh, Hell damn. Man. Oh. Die young. <laughs> this dude's a fucking you. monster, too. That's his new. Jesus. Oh, gut shot. Up your ass. Fuck. I just feel like Hitman and shit, they'd be more discreet. Like, they want to get in and out, right? So, let's ask them where shit is. Let's not thrash mm -hmm. shit about. Neighbors are going to call somebody. Yeah, these Hitmen are really kind of... Sloppy. Kind of bumbling idiots. <laughs> my sister's Shit, you're like Route 21 or So something. apparently uh, Jackie Chan is good friends with Steven Seagal. Really? With a walking stick. <laughs> this is used for a handicap you're about to be. Oh, did he do the foot trick with it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fuck, I missed that. Ryan, where are you spouting all these facts from? From the internet. Yeah, but what's your source? What's Porn the website? Yeah. Pornhub.com. Slash. Anyway, it's, listen. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Wants to know where Ryan knows his facts from. It's from the internet. Can he say? Movie. It's IMDB. Yeah, so. This is all coming from a. A, a fucking pipe wrench. A well-known source. Could you imagine source? that? Yeah, it's just so that people know. Cite your sources. I hate that kid. So it's not freedom news. Intergalactic demons. Have diamonds. <laughs> the men in black are real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good Nobody, fucking guy. Does anybody have a fucking old phone? Do you still have a landline? A no, have? no, I do. No. I wonder how many people have landlines. My it's mom, who they pull. Zero. The, it's older people. That's how they get those polls so wrong when they do them on the news. Because it's whoever they can call with the landline. I have one of those phones. Why is there always some diamonds? Pull the fucking antenna out. What? A suitcase full of diamonds? Damn, they were there to fucking eliminate them.
Okay, I'll hang up. I'll hang up on the police. Call 911. Call 911, you That's right, fuck it. I got any offense if it's not real. He throws the walking sticks to the driver? What the fuck is he supposed to do with them? Why can't he hold them in the back? Guy drives away and throws him out the window. Uber score's going down. These fucking guys are getting wrecked. What is that, gun gold now? Oh, no, it's just reflecting. It's silver as hell. It's platinum. Yeah, it's an actual really nice store when you get that fucking far shot. I, I honestly think they've represented a store oh. that I would never fucking shop in. It's gross. I can't tell what the fuck is in there, and yeah, it what? looks old. Is it a flower shop? What What are you selling here? Yeah. It is looks it a like bodega? Nothing. Like, what the fuck is, is in there? Is it a 7-Eleven? She walked under a ladder. Fuck. Are we just ignoring that? Dude. Seven years bad luck. When did it, when did that start? When did you know that this thing could be true? Since I was a kid. Yeah, but can you like recollect how young? Was it elementary school sometime? I never went to school. Well, I was that age by frame. Wolves. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Well, yeah, probably seven when you start to comprehend. Did you ever like hear about Bloody Mary? Oh, you look in the mirror three times? Yeah. You look in the mirror three times? You look in the mirror three times. <laughs> yes. By whipping your head back and forth. You look in a two-way mirror? And then the candy man shows up. <laughs> and he's like, I have a hook on my hand. Uh, so so I got a couple of pretty tasty little uh, factoids about fucking Jackie Chan. What were you saying, Ryan? Apparently, he was one of the uh, John Carpenter's picks for a character in... Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, what a great idea. But it didn't go through. What? Yeah, you know. Because Jackie Chan? It's, it's insane. And they called him Little China back then? I bet he would have played uh, Jack... What? Uh, Nichols? And Sylvester Stallone offered him a role of Simon Phoenix in Demolition Man. Oh, he shit. turned it down. Said he didn't want to play a villain. Wow. Oh, yeah, because he didn't want to set a bad example for kids. Yeah, Something man. Like that. Yeah, what a upstanding guy. What a stand-up yeah, guy. Right. He's like the Michael Jackson of martial arts. <laughs> the Michael Jackson of martial arts. Only Damn, so it's, that's of perfect. Touching little kids physically, he touches <laughs> little kids. He just touches their mentally. hearts. Yeah, yeah. Touches hearts with his penis. That's with not good for penis. the environment. I can tell you that much. The touching penises with hearts is not good for the environment. Huh? I don't know. I, you know, he's a great guy is all I'm saying. So a tow truck with fucking Bullshit. seven chains is going to pull this fucking grocery store down. Bullshit. There's no way in a how, fucking... What's the fucking torque how, on that thing, huh? He's got to have a <laughs> baby gear. How many actors can you think of that are actually setting world records? Lil Pump. Lil Pump set world records. He's not an actor. No. He should He's be. an actress. <laughs> Taking shit. Yeah. It's just a turd that flops. Look at that bathtub. You think they fucking nailed that thing down or something? They probably, How do they, they probably you know? Yeah, they probably stole that from the Look Cleveland that. show. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking couch. You think that's a set? I wonder well, how they did be. this. It's got to be a set, right? Yeah. And probably just below where you the camera angle you can see the floor. I think it would be so cool, right, to design that <laughs> or help set that up. Like, just make it look um, wrecked and wet, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just... Guys, you're not going to believe this. Okay. What's that, Ryan? Jackie Chan shares a birthday with Francis Ford Coppola. Wow, it's come full circle. Russell the... Russell Crowe. Francis Ford Coppola is Nick Cage's uncle. Wow. And Johnny Depp one time. <laughs> one time they're walking watching. down the street. And he was parachuting. Okay, so, yeah, you know, James Garner, Stan Winston. 
couple Sam years. Winston. Same wait, birthday. Wait, is he related to Winston? Winston Churchill? Okay, so... I want to just say, for the record... God bless you. I've done... Yeah, and you shall. You shall. It's kazoo tight. Because what that's kazoo called tight. is actually reverse sneezing. What Handsome has been doing. So that's actual sneezing. And when he's doing the... That's called reverse sneezing. And it's actually nothing to worry about. So he's like loading up his Super Saiyan ability to sneeze. He's Super Saiyan. Yeah. Satan? Super Satan? Super Saiyan? He is a black cat. Dude, okay, superstitions, right? My mom, literally, this is why I own a black cat, for anybody listening and caring, is that my mom was super, super superstitious. Super superstitious? She was super superstitious. And she told me that a black cat walks in front of you, and that's really, like, that's bad luck. It's a bad almond. And so, for some reason, growing up, and then you see him in Halloween, right? The black cat represents Halloween. Yeah. It's like this witchy cat, this evil fucking thing. Ooh, witchy, witchy cat. cat. Meow, 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 meow. So, uh, now I own a black cat, being older. Yeah. I was like, I'm getting a black cat. Yeah. Mr. Handsome is Seems fucking like awesome. a perfectly reasonable course of action. I mean, like, in your face, Mom. That would explain yeah. why you live in a four by four bedroom in a whorehouse, <laughs> though. Right. Well, I still do what? live with my mom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's, she's in the my other. My mom won't listen to this because she doesn't know how to work a computer. She's in the <laughs> my other. My mom does not care. <laughs> Your mom's in the other room. There they are. Yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> smoke. How can you see it through those Mom. smoke signals of your fucking stogie? Right? I didn't know he was a fucking uh, Chickapee uh, Indian or whatever. Chickapee! I don't think that's a. <laughs> that's the <laughs> Chickapee tribe. Yeah. That's right? a real thing. No? Yeah, no, it totally is. Chickadee? The Chickapee. I'm actually 132nd Chickapee. I actually want to fucking... I lasted 30 I could seconds op- with the chickadee. I could, <laughs> I, could, I could open a casino if I wanted to. I have enough chickadee? Native, Native American blood in there somewhere. All I want is a chick to pee. I'm, de- <laughs> I'm descended from Kit Carson. I'm I- descended by Kim Kardashian. <laughs> but descended by... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think they're uh, on to us. Uh, She's like, could you quiet down? I'm in a fucking golf course. <laughs> don't fucking tell, you know, like, don't talk that, about business right now. That, You're not going to use the fucking codes we created. Is it Bill Murray? After he did Caddyshack, he's like, yeah, I'll do another golf movie. Why not? And you're telling me that these special... Nick Cage. Right. Yeah, Nick fuck Cage. yeah, it was. No, that was Nick Cage. Totally. Then he got the... What the fuck? Yeah. Nicholas Coppola. Oh, oh. So Jackie Chan believes these guys to be FBI agents. And so he's called them for help. Mm. And he ends up calling the actual fucking people that want the diamonds. Who doesn't want the diamonds? Apparently diamonds are the thing oh, that makes, in his hair. makes the world go around. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now, how the fuck is that working? Ah! Is this some sort of like James Bond villain tank of sharks that have lasers? He's like, well, on. you do Ghostbusters 3. He's like, no, I told you many times. <laughs> I live in Scotland. Bill yeah. Murray is not doing Ghostbusters 3. golfing like, now. Yeah. I'm trying to get 18 doing holes. Doing Lost in Translation. I'm looking for the Loch Ness Monster. He's trying to do 18 holes in Tokyo. 18 holes in Tokyo. Tokyo. I love to go all day. <laughs> Threw a ladder on him. Now, can't you hold up a ladder? Would you just fall back with it? Well, it depends. <laughs> it you know, it's like steel. There's certain things that just look better on camera. Like me. God. Like my meat. I make sandwiches on YouTube. Peanut butter and jelly. People like yeah. to watch. People like to watch people eat food. Yeah. Well, well ooh, people like to see people. 
I gotta say what? <laughs> I gotta yell hey. Hey. And then put the stogie in my mouth. Right. Then pull up. And then when they shot him, it's like they hit the cigar because it just made like this fucking fire burst. Firebird. It's too late, Bale. <laughs> I think you have better fucking odds in the car. You were really right there to start it. Like, And why didn't he have it running? Just jump in and go. Look at these cops. They don't even follow him in the car. They just fucking immediately do a burnout. <laughs> like fucking Fishtail Park. Right. Holy shit. I mean, to be fair, they're probably not actually real cops. Dude, um, well, yeah. Then you got Santa, Santa's helpers over there. Yeah, hostages. It, isn't that the dude from, uh, what, Die Hard? No. They're all the dudes from Die Hard. Everybody is. They're the all hovercraft. they're all hanging out Steven Seagal's. No, that dude isn't he in Die Hard or uh, Lethal Weapon? That's what it is. Danny Glover. Yeah, that's no. Danny Glover, dude. We're watching Lethal Weapon. If anything, that's Johnny Cochran in his first role. So a hovercraft moves slow, or they had no other way to do this? Because this thing's slow as shit. Is that a wire jump? It had to be. Looks too weird. Okay, so this is broken foot. This is where Jackie Chan just completely destroyed his foot. Boom, rolled it. Ooh, Ooh shit. Just fucking, yeah. Yeah, you can see it. So, yeah, you so now he happen. has a cast with a rubber shoe in a lot of shots. Not now, but throughout the movie. Because of how you film shit. When I was younger, I was like, they filmed it just in this order. <laughs> and the concept of like breaking it. But okay. I also thought the name of bands was yeah. the name of the person in the band. So I'd be yeah. like, you know Aerosmith? And then my brother would be like, it's Steven Tyler. <laughs> the band is Aerosmith. Yeah. What about okay. this shit, though, too? Can you ski without... Can yeah. you just ski on your feet? Yeah, I guess so. It's really fucking hard, but... Wouldn't you you'd be like a foot shorter? Is that a real thing? Your fucking knees getting pushed? Oh my god. Thanks for hanging out with us. My name's John. My name's Simon. I'm Ryan. Um, look. There's, there's just endless trivia about Jackie Chan. He, they, he, 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 he fucking made a video game. Called what? Called Stuntmaster in 2000. Really? To which he lent the voice and performed the motion capture. Holy cow. He's all over the place. Cambodia, Australia. He's international. And he skis without skis. Yeah. Do you think that's the rubber the rubber shoe that John was talking about? I don't know. I was trying to look at it and see. It kind of looks like one of his feet might be like not an actual shoe. It's a rubber shoe or a ski? Like it's bigger than a regular shoe would oh, be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I think he did that part with the cast. I think that's yeah, what they I mean, show at the end. Yeah, I think you're absolutely... Look, how come every time a cop pulls in, it's got to fucking Go kick the car to the side, yeah. Mandatory. It is mandatory. These are things to highlight and remember. If you ever yeah. get a chance to make your own action movie. I think one of the... They one just of, don't do them like this. Anymore. Yeah, one of the reasons why... Uh, okay, this is a Cabbage Patch Kid. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. But I love this movie. It's okay. And this is a part that if you don't know this movie... You really have to fucking watch this. Because when she when he throws this fucking kid, it's like the only budget they had was for a cabbage patch. It's obviously kid. a dummy. It's a fucking legit like cabbage patch doll or something. Like one of them knitted things. Oh, it's not even the same size as the actual kid was. So I think the reason for the older looking cars is uh like in Blues Brothers, 
They used a whole bunch of like ret retired, retired, whatever, retired squad cars. Yeah. Right? So they get a whole bunch of them because they're no longer using those vehicles. So they they can like wreck a hundred of them. Yeah. How much is your budget of just wreck cars? Oh yeah, it's you know it's gotta I mean? cost yeah. And if you're gonna spend anything in your budget, wouldn't it be look at this fucking stunt, man? The, with the like wreck a bus. Yeah. A bus is mandatory. If you can blow up a plane, it'd be that, nice. That bus had to be in a turntable just now, like the way it was spinning around. Oh, you think so? Yeah, absolutely. I think yeah. I mean, it, you don't think it was a stunt driver like rotating. Get it, it was rotating from the middle. Mm. It looked like it was just like spinning around. Oh. Wow. Wouldn't that thing yeah, be kicking intense. fucking dirt like a street sweeper, though? Wouldn't it just yeah, be how a does a giant fucking hover? shit? I, I mean, it would be humming so fucking loud that you'd probably go deaf being by it. Yeah, how's a hovercraft just go over the pavement oh, like that? Oh, look this at these fucking stunt, this semi-truck. He's just a rolling machine. Do you think he just shows up and he's in constant, like, soreness and pain? Probably Each day of shooting, of doing that chills. shit. It's like, yeah, give me that lidocaine. He's just like, give me the that green tea. Give me that aspirin. What's oh, that, a Lamborghini? Wow. Fuck yeah. Wow, that Dude, that's fucking unbelievable. Thing. That's sped up, right? That's gotta be sped up. That's a Lamborghini Countach. So it just fucking... What? That's the budget right there. Fucking shreds the paint on that fucking thing. What do you think that really is? Like water and like cornstarch or something? It looks fucking like they just like poured some mixture. Punk rockers, yeah. Jamming out to some fucking rank ass music. <laughs> Straight trash. Dude, these fucking furries <laughs> were out there. Did you see that? Furries are showing up to the fucking punk rock party. It's the same band that was at the nightclub. What? The cops own a semi truck? The Did they just pull that semi truck up there? There's a roadblock. Furries. Lamborghinis. Yup. Knights in armor. Suicide doors up, dude. Or no, those aren't suicide. Those Scissor are Scissor doors. Butterfly doors. Butterfly doors. Butterfly doors. Just rocking out. Ancient fucking guar sword. Yeah, I think it's eight <laughs> feet Straight long. Straight up. It's like Otis oh. Rangus just fucking sold that to him for some crack. Furries are mad. Everybody's just mad at the hovercraft for. Okay, here we go. Foot up on it. Let's fucking pop this baby. You know, I. How fast? You think it's gotta be sped up, right? That's post sped up. Yeah. Oh! Yes. What a cool idea. Yeah, it's how you take out a hovercraft, right? You get right. a giant yeah. sword. His critical thinking that's seven are feet off long. The you drive a Lamborghini without the doors. Where's the sword now? Probably keep that shit out. He gave it back to the dude from Final Fantasy. Cloud. <laughs> Is that the character? Seven. Name? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's a Guar sword. Sure. Nowadays, you'd have to, like, blow his fingers off with the gun. I ain't telling you shit. <laughs> like ten but if you've later. already lost your hand, would you now tell him shit? Or would you be like, well, you know, you really fucking ruined it. Yeah, especially if it's fucked. my right hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ruin half my sex life. Right? Three-fourths. Yeah. Maybe five-fifths. I don't know. <laughs> it just looked like her mom went ba 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 ba. Can you really drive this thing? They're just like, can you just like chew gum but not have gum, and then we'll just overdub it. <laughs> yeah. I know you just tried to kill me earlier in the. Well, he's making friends. Yeah, but they've had a rocky, rough, rocky start. This guy's. I'm an FBI agent just because I have the hat that says FBI. Duct tape. Duct tape. Sponsored it. by duct tape. Yo, do the X's. It's like stitching, wasn't it? Yeah. Like Frankenstein's neck on a hovercraft. The white tiger's going down. Why does he have to have headphones on like he's in a helicopter? I mean, it's loud, Is that, probably. 
but who is he communicating with? Yeah. Look how slow this thing is moving on the golf course. Like, you, you could outrun that fucking thing. Holy shit. Her mouth wasn't even Whoa. moving. Oh. Let's get him. Yeah. Like he did something to make it go faster than five miles per hour. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they had to fucking... What? Just to embarrass him. Whoa, the freeze frame freeze ending. Frame? No way. What a great idea. Fuck, I feel like I just watched this for the first time. So yeah, there's that's an outtake right there because he's got to try it. Jesus Christ! And just drag me across the water going yeah, like seventy fucking, miles an hour. Like it, no. How can you even breathe? Oh. Like what? Wow! Oh my! Oh, face plant! Gosh. Boom! Broken ankle. I'm glad they kept that take in there, though. You wow. really do see it bent all the way oh, yeah. to the side. Yeah. Everybody's gathered around yeah, him. Yeah, he's done. Carried off in a stretcher. He's got his hands behind his back like he's in a hammock. She just fell off a table and was all fucked. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. That, that fuck, didn't, fuck. That didn't quite work out. No way, dude. Look at this. It's a lot of stunt people that do their own wow. things. That's awesome. Oh man! That's the four, third or fourth Fuck. person. I knew that guy had to be Four. fucked up. Look at Jackie. He's like Whoa. fourth person to get carried oh, off. Oh man, he couldn't stretcher. clear the fence. They got to put all that lattice fucking fence back together. The people at the emergency room are just like, Jesus, you guys keep coming in here. Yeah. They're like, well, you know, he hit the front brakes on the dirt bike. He the went right ER. over the fucking yes. handlebars. The whole ER is fucking filled with Rumble in the Bronx fucking actors. <laughs> Look at that jump, man. That's insane. Jesus Christ. Yeah, victory dance. Fuck yeah. Yes. Yeah, so look, here's There's the rubber shoe. shoe. Yep. Oh, wow. And with the sock. Oh, wow, it's so huge. So you can fucking do shit. It's just a picture of a shoe. <laughs> I'm a fucking... Yeah, cruising around. Broke ass <laughs> foot. Fucking umbrellas wrecked the hovercraft? What happened here? Wow. So how do we feel? How, Simon, have you seen this before? I forgot no, to ask. No, I've never seen it. How, how'd you feel watching it? Were you? Did you find it entertaining? or? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Like, how can you not with the choreography of the fight scenes and just the all-out, like, just knowledge of knowing that Jackie Chan does his own stunts and what have you is, like, completely mesmerizing in some circumstances that somebody who is supposed to be act Moose and knuckle. do their own stunts and all this other crap on top of all that and yeah. just... Being able to keep the energy going that he does in this movie, and every movie I've seen by him is still baffling to me, especially with how cushy actors and stuff are nowadays. It's bewildering. I don't know. It's still awesome. Loved it. Love Jackie Chan. Was this your first time seeing it, though? Yeah. Yeah? Ryan, you've seen it before, right? Yeah, it, you know, it's been a long time since I've seen this one. Uh, been a long time since, since I've seen, seen this, this one. one. I was really impressed at the, how they were able to keep the, you know, just kind of keep the energy accelerating. Like it, it was, you know, like they're they're constantly outdoing the last stunt. Okay. Yeah. They kept the energy up all the way to the end. It really didn't have any. It did. There was almost zero downtime. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, not only that, but, but what I've learned about Jackie Chan and about his, his whole life has really been pretty remarkable. So, uh, gets an A+. Plus. Gets an A+. Plus. Gets an A+. Plus. Well, yeah, I mean, wow. just in terms of, you know, being a fun, really watchable, mm -hmm. uh, nonstop, you know. Yeah. You just don't quit. 
So what you're saying is Jackie Chan is a real embodiment that the American dream is still alive <laughs> and well. I came here with six pennies and a piece of white bread. I've seen this, I, I, like I said, I, I think this is literally my sixth time seeing this movie. I can go on and on about it. I love, like Simon, the choreographed fighting. The stunts are unbelievable. They blow my mind. Still watching them today, I'm sitting there going like, how the fuck did they do that and how many fucking takes did it take to capture that? Um, especially when he's spinning on the fence and he does that kick and he's like fucking spread, you know? <laughs> Fucking with his arms hanging off of there. It, mm -hmm. It's really cool. Using the environment. Mm -hmm. um, the story overall, I mean, as an action film, I think it's what is to be expected, especially in 1995. I, I still believe, though, watching it, that when we get to the hovercraft scenes, right? Mm -hmm. It's a bit lackluster i find the final boss right he just runs him over with the hovercraft yeah i wish for a little bit more there i wish for that final showdown like there was when he approached the punk gang you know and he had to fight all of them mm -hmm. i wish for something like that because when i want to see an action film i want the action film to have the good guy and the bad guy. And I always want it to be black and white like that, but I can see that in creative ways, you know, in so okay. many different films. I have, I have a question. Do you think that um, maybe it would have been better to actually... Okay, you know when he's about to be attacked by some big group of people, he's going to fight them all off. Do you think maybe they could have tried to create a sense of there's a chance he's not going to do it? You know what I mean? I think like they with did that, that, it made it more interesting. No, I think they do that with the bottle scene. Okay. I like that they throw that in there immediately after he whoops everybody's ass in the fucking grocery store. Mm -hmm. We get him whooping some more ass. <laughs> he right? just keeps accelerating. While he's running through the parking garage. Just but, whooping ass. But in the middle of that, we get that we want to see our hero hit rock bottom. Yeah. I think every good story... Where there's a fucking hero that you want to identify with. You Jackie Chan has no lowest. rock. He has no rock bottom. He does. He's hit with a bunch of bottles and he's oh, bleeding everywhere. Sure. And he has to heal up. Yeah, and he gets a and shitty little blanket. He gets a shitty little blanket, wakes up in some hot chick's apartment, naked. Who knows what she's done with him. Crappy suit, handicapped kid giving you know, him a sandwich. Kid in a wheelchair. Was he like pretending, like playing possum? Like he, you know... Didn't take all the Tylenol PM she offered. Mm -hmm. Didn't drink the sleepy time tea, but pretended he did and poured it into a plant so he could stay awake and see what she would do with his naked body under a blanket. That's really weird, right? To wake up that way. <laughs> yeah. And there's a kid there. Why? Yeah. Anyway, the final boss, Like I like the good and the bad in that black and white. And I like a final showdown. You know, there's always that final show. It's Terminator. Like, we're going to get that final showdown. We're going to fucking get the final showdown in a Van Damme movie that you can name. Any single one. You know? Steven Seagal film. Final showdown. There's always that final showdown with the boss. Lethal Weapon. Final always. Showdown. Yep. Die Hard. Any final Bruce Lee show. movie. Any Jet Bruce Lee, Lee movies. movies. Yeah. You know? You're going to see it. And in this one, instead just of a final showdown, they just run the dude over with the fucking hovercraft. <laughs> and then freeze frame. And then freeze frame. Because <laughs> he had his naked butt. Yeah. Yeah, that was That, that was wasn't hilarious. actually a freeze frame. That I, was hilarious. I just paused the movie. For, <laughs> he wanted to... Yeah, he had to get a cup. Wanted to digest Soak it up. Get a couple chew that up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Old man ass in the beach sand. I want to graze his body with mm -hmm. my white mm -hmm. hand. And it's soft. It's smooth. He really got the body that... Imagine showing up that day and going, we got to put your makeup on. We got to put you in a suit that it becomes butt floss. Because the fucking pants just became like a fucking loincloth fucking wedgie. 
loincloth butt floss. I mean, come on. And we have like, to paint red on you so that it looks like you've been road rash some. Yeah, they had to put some thought into that. Yeah. How do we make this guy look like he's been run over by a hovercraft? Grandpa got ran over by a hovercraft. hovercraft. Do you think it deserves the 6.8 score out of 10? Do you think it's better? Do you think... I would say it's a 7. I would easily say it's an 8, I, I think. Yeah, Double I in the Bronx. It, For what category it's in, an action, comedy, martial art film, I think it... I think it really sets a new standard when it came out in 1995. It showed that they wanted to see something more real. And I really think that it put some of the final nails in the coffins of like Van Damme and Steven Seagal. Because those films really dropped off around that time. They started doing lower budget films and... Well, they actually had someone that wasn't just a total bat... Or wasn't... They had somebody that came in that had, like, some kind of uh, mobility towards him compared to, like, a Steven Seagal where he kind of just walks in and acts like he owns the place and they kind of let him own it. Whereas Jackie Chan, in his film, he actually, like, proves to you that he's actually owning it and doing all these crazy things, even even with, like, the stunt doubles in uh, Seagal or Van Damme or something like yeah. that. They... To the best of my knowledge, they don't do anything either yeah, quite I, as creative or... Uh, I think that's a really good point because you, you see Chuck Norris doing insane stunts like that where, do you know, do you see Steven Seagal doing insane stunts like that? Do you see... Is uh, it only the stunts, though, Stallone that make Jackie Chan? Because I find him charming. Like, he really does the, do that character Yeah, the well, element of comedy. Where he's, he's likable. Yeah. yeah, and then to know that he can kick your ass at the drop of a fucking hat also makes him even more likable. So it's like he has a lot of positives going for him. Where, like Simon is saying, where I agree one hundred percent, Steven Seagal walks into a room and there's something about his arrogance. Like he yeah. he really seems like he's cool, you know. He's and not, I like no, he's like Alpha like Justice is probably one of my favorite films by him. It's probably in my top ten of old. Older action movie, action movies from like the nineties, but or late eighties. But I still feel like yeah, there's something about him that comes across off-putting, and that Van Damme's charming for sure. I find, but I feel like he's not used that way that Jackie Chan is. Yeah, where Jackie Chan is very almost uh, what do you call it? Like um, family fun in a sense. Like he can be that. That, charismatic that, person but have the humor and the things that are going on that makes him like a family entertainment person but at the same time he has these aspects where he can be pretty brutal within his martial arts yeah he's not as gung-ho as Van Damme or Seagal because Seagal kind of gives off the the uh, vibe of uh, like the spoiled rich kid that Never had to do anything, but he just walks in like, hey, my dad owns a business. I can beat you guys up if I want. Want to see me do the splits? Really? Van Damme gives you that? No. Seagal. Oh, Seagal, yeah. No, Van Damme kind of just has that like macho man vibe all the time about him where Jackie Chan kind of has the like, more uh, common person, but at the... At the flip of a coin or whatever, he could be turning around doing backflips and all this other shit, but then at the same time having that nice, cute little smile and whatnot. Right, yeah, and being very positive. Yeah. And Van Damme just kind of gives off that, yeah. like, strong guy, you know he's going to kick ass. He's very whatever. positive, though, too. Yeah. In, his, in his, his interviews and the way he presents himself, hmm. as much as that is, it could be true, but... I think over years, right, you can, if you were going to wear a mask in Hollywood and present yourself as this positive, like, person, over time we would see things that kind of crack that. Yeah. And I just, I really can't see those things with Van Damme or Jackie Chan. Steven Seagal has put his foot in his mouth many a times. He's, I mean, it's just really bizarre to me. The route that these action stars have taken mm-hmm. as they've gotten older. Like, Steven Scott was a c- cop. 
or something on some show. He got to roll around with police in this reality TV show in, like, Texas. Hmm. He's a fucking state trooper or something. Like, what the fuck? He just makes Steven Seagal a cop. Anyway... Rumble in the Bronx, I don't think it deserves a 6.8 out of 10. I, I can see why it would end up there. And it's close enough to 7 for me to just... I guess I basically agree with it. It's no A+. Plus. Right, gang? Ryan's done... All he's been doing is Ryan's posting a, on Twitter. So oh, Ryan's man, practiced a new idea with this episode. Let us know if you like it. To where he reads stuff off of his phone that are fun facts and trivia about what we're watching or who is starring in it. Then every once in a while we'll see like a Pornhub up on it or something like yeah. that. We don't we, we act like we don't notice what so we the, notice. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's obviously a lot about Jackie Chan's career that we went, yeah. we weren't able to cover here, but. I just, you know, I just think he's a fascinating guy in general, and uh, you know, it's something that 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 if you look into it, you might be surprised at some of the, the things that he's done with his life. And blam, wham! Thank, thank you, you, ma'am. Thank, thank, thank you, Chan. You Chan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mister Chan. We're MBKIA podcast movie review. Thanks, I'm John. I'm Ryan. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm Simon. Make sure you hit that dislike button. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Thanks, Chrissy. Thanks, everyone. Later.